Life is a winding road. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ashley. If you're new here, today we have a fun video. We're gonna be diving into spring, um, getting some things cleaned out. So, like a spring clean with me. Um, just want to give you guys a little intro. Today we're gonna tackle cleaning the walls, um, getting Levi's toys organized, clearing out our TV stand, cleaning the fridge, mopping, doing the bathroom. So like a lot of motivation for you guys today so hopefully this inspires you to get up and get moving in your own home we will be moving in a few months um our lease is up in may so i will be having a whole packing and moving series with you guys for you guys um in april and may so we're just trying to get some things tidy i'm very tempted to put some things in boxes but we're going to just wait on that part and just clear everything out the things that we don't need so when it's time for us to move it's easy so today like i said we're tackling just a few things and then tomorrow or the next video you guys see we're going to be in the back patio and making it all spring um time fun okay so we're gonna be here in april may so we might as well enjoy the beautiful sun and our back patio um so yeah so without further ado i gotta go get some coffee and we're gonna be on our way to cleaning <laughs> Alright, so we do have a little haul. I went to the dollar store. I'm gonna turn you around. Hold on. I wanna show you guys what I got from the dollar store. Um, just some cleaning supplies, some little whatnots. Um, I got this. You guys know what this is. It's this toilet uh, bowl scrubber. I do have the Mr. Clean, like, one thing that you use but i didn't want to have to go to walmart and get the refill so i just picked this up i'm probably gonna throw it away i don't know i really don't like the bristles once you use the magic bowl one thing you do not go back but i just wanted to go ahead and knock it out today and i really didn't want to go to walmart so that's that i got some tie pods i needed some bobby pins so i got this color i'm actually going to be dyeing my hair um on another video so I am gonna be needing this color for the um, bobby pins and I got black as well. I got some pads, obvious reasons, and some tampons. I got spray bottles, so whenever I spray the walls today, I'll be able to use it. I really don't have like this stuff like this on hand. I really don't have like stuff like this on hand all the time. So I just, I'm gonna put the vinegar in here and then spray the uh, walls with the vinegar. Hopefully it works out. I got some lip gloss so i got that got some juice <laughs> so some orange juice for this morning the girls just actually just woke up so got some fruit punch and we're going to make a small simple breakfast today so we have that <coughs> i got this snuggle um fabric softener and i smelled like four or five of them and they all kind of smelled like um hair products for some reason i don't know but um i normally use like the little petals but I wanted to try something different, so I picked up this one, and it smells okay. I really don't like too florally scent. I don't really like heavily, heavily perfumed um, washing detergent. I like like clean linen, and so that's kind of giving that. I got some Lysol laundry sanitizer. I used to use this all the time, and I'm starting back to use this. Um, it's no bleach inside of it, so it works out. This is like the off-brand to Magic Eraser uh it's a super eraser so gotta use that for the tubs and any areas that needed touching up i got some lysol toilet bowl um gel and obviously you know what this is for now with these two things you don't really need this if you have the scrubbing bubble or magic wand you don't need that but i mean you can also use this in conjunction with that but since I'm using the this little thing today, I'm gonna have this. So it's good to have anyways. We got some deodorant. Um for my daughter and I. I got two packs for like four dollars, I believe. And I just use the regular, I could use swab or the degree. I really don't break out from from deodorant, so I just use whatever the, is the cheapest. And this was cheap today. Last but not least, I got some of these. Now these used to be two for a dollar, now they are a dollar. Like, that's crazy. But, um, yeah. So, I got these. These go on the toilet bowl um, just to keep it fresh. And these kind of last. I don't know. When I clean my toilets, uh, I'm trying to find something else. That's why I didn't get, like, a whole bunch of these. I'm going to try something. I'm going to find more 
cleaning products and like probably perfect it but you say well actually you went and got a whole bunch of cleaning supplies i really don't have a lot i just use up what we have and then i go get more um i don't like to have a whole cabinet full of just stuff i don't use so either i'm trying something different <coughs> or i just stick with the same thing so i already have like multi-purpose spray lysol wipes stuff like that i just needed to get like some bathroom stuff and some little laundry detergent so let's get to cleaning. Uh, I'm gonna make breakfast real quick and then we're gonna get to cleaning. All right. <laughs> To keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Been playing it down, but I'm so getting tired. Now so let me know in the comments, guys, if you've used the mop method to clean your walls. You can see my walls really needed a deep clean a clean in general and this is my first time even cleaning baseboards and i think i did a good job let me know in the comments if you tried it and i've been needing needing that crazy and i gotta let it go so baby put the record on i'm not gonna need that song hit it So areas like this, I couldn't really get clean and I used the uh, magic eraser also and it's still like, you can see kind of how it scrubbed a little bit right there. I don't know, they're gonna paint over this anyways when we move out, but I used to be able to use the magic eraser, but I do have the cheap one. So I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but I, um, when my younger, when my daughters used to like write on the walls and stuff, I was able to get it off, but now, I don't know maybe it's just this paint I don't know but anyways that's what's happening with the wall this area that's the only thing I couldn't get off but for the most part I think it looks really good So y'all, I just decided to take this off because you know the corners you can't really clean them. So this is the back, and this is what I cleaned. And so right here, I'm gonna take it outside and get it washed. I'm gonna wash it out, and I cleaned around here, all around the border. I just wiped it out really good. Look how much dirt and stuff. Like this is nasty. Just the thing that you're breathing through this. This is the air vent I mean the air filter it goes like that <sighs> and we just put this one on a couple days ago so I was lost in a city dream and I was at home again beside the stream Then you walked past me And you saw me and smiled I will never forget The first time When I saw you I thought I lost my mind Blue and faded was blown Right, guys so the next thing we're gonna do the girl's gonna help we're going I said the girls are gonna help so move the tablet over there Jada. 
And so anyways, we're going to get all of them stuff on the couches. We're going to vacuum and get them all cleared out. And the reason why they're helping is because they did it for the most part. All right, go ahead and take off the uh, cushions. Let's see the damage. It's a hot mess. Okay, so you're gonna put them on the side right here. So I just vacuumed in here. I should have vacuumed last, I don't know. Look at that already. Markers, fruit snacks, goldfish smashed all in. Hurry up, put the stuff over here. All right, guys, we'll um, show you guys the whole cleaning process in a minute. Let me get them situated. Y'all was so bad. We had, y'all saw it, a lot going on. And then even in the crevices, it was still stuff I had to pull out after the fact. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get the rest of it. I guess if there are any, if there is any more, when we move out, definitely be able to like get all the stuff. And I try to vacuum under this couch at least once, once a month, but I don't really get to it. So it's been like maybe three months since the last time I've done it. But anyways, yeah. So, got it done. Um, and the reason why it's a lot of stuff under there for the most part is I do their hair here. So, a lot of bees, a lot of, um, a lot of bees, a lot of ponytail stuff and combs and all kind of stuff is in there. And then, like, the baby eats his goldfish over here. So, there's a lot of crumbs under there for that. And then just a lot of whatnots and um, blocks. So, we really don't have any storage for his toys. So, that's why we're going to tackle this area next. Get it all cleared out and then we're gonna work our way to the bathroom but for the most part we did pretty good we're gonna fix those cushions i'll figure it out but anyways um yeah we got a lot done <laughs> let's get it so the girl's gonna pull all this stuff out i mean all kind of stuff games for the most part i put the games there because we didn't have any other place to put them now they used to be right here in this little black cabinet but the baby you know when he became walkable he started pulling stuff down so i try to put it in this cabinet but um we're just gonna start over with the games we're just gonna start over so yeah take everything out y'all we're gonna wipe it down and um throw all this stuff out for the most part not everything but most of the stuff and then his toys are gonna go into like the stuff that he don't play with he don't play with that thing he played with the blocks i need to figure out another a solution for the blocks because they just sit right here but um i don't know we're gonna put those well, in the garage i don't know just sit it right there everything that looks like you're gonna keep it put it right there but anyways let me let me get them situated all right so here's the mess of the cars and games and all kind of stuff. Like I said, we're going to just start over with this. Um, I may keep the Uno cards and just put them in a little Ziploc bag. But other than that, we're just going to start over with all of this stuff. Um, a lot of these games I got from like thrift stores and stuff. So it's not like I spent a lot of money on them. Um, but he do have this toy bin. So this toy bin is, this was in my room. And so I'm going to take out all the things that's inside of this that he don't really use. Since it's been around, he don't even like get any of these things out of here. Uh, I'm going to put all his blocks, the stuff that he do play with, and remove that. Put that in the garage and put this there. So that way he can have them in a bin um, that he can use. So he do have his books that he really likes books. So anyways, that's what we're about to do. My life was great till you added color.
right, so you guys can't see it on here. Let me open the door and maybe you'll be able to see it. But look at this door. It's mess. So, and then when you close it, it's like, like really, really smudgy right here for the kids. So what I'm gonna do is kind of just use that same solution and just clear, well, I'm gonna spray this with some Windex and then with everything else, I'm just gonna use that solution and really, really, like you guys, it's really bad. Like, okay, now you can see it. Like all the smudges and stuff and I'm going to clear it off. I wanted to do this before I start on the bathroom and all that. So let's get it. So I did clean the bathroom off camera. It was just one of those days where I was just trying to knock off the last little bit of things to do. I know I said I was going to do the fridge on this video, but I decided to do the couch instead. So like it kind of, I don't know, just went with the flow with today. Um, but we will get to all the other things as the spring cleaning series go. I want to show you guys the lunch that the kids had that day. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.